This is insane. Now, on to the Yemen hard point. How do you think that's going to play out? Completely different game mode again. Um, you know, I'd say Epsilon a bit more, you know, set up if you like. Yeah, I mean, we, it's just with Tommy as a pickup, you know, you couldn't ask for a best pick, better pick. But Epsilon, they should have those strategies a bit better than Infuse. That's all I'm that kind of thinking. That could be a deciding factor. But we've got to remember, statistically, Infuse actually won the last two hard yeah. points they played against this team. But Yemen is a map they haven't played, if I remember correctly. So we're going to see how that goes down. I don't think I've seen a hard point in Yemen where Jude hasn't gone off. Now, I, I call him Mr. Hall. I, I think, you know, myself, I always say Madcat is the best European gamer. I think that because he's good at all three game modes. Uh -huh. Not saying Jude isn't, but I think Jude is literally Mr. Hard Point. Well, it's been, it's been said about Jude before. Yeah. Put him in the hard point. <laughs> How on earth do you get this man out? He, 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 he just seems to be able to aim everywhere at once. Exactly, yeah. He'll look one way, get a kill, look another way. And he's one of those players that he's top of the leaderboards, but he's also getting those 15, 10 defends, something crazy like that. Whereas you'll see people like Swanee, where he's sat back, he's getting the anchor, he's doing his job role. And I think I'm, I'm going to say Epsilon for this game. Well, we will soon see. I mean, the cat now did just start, and it has been cancelled. I'm just thinking that just someone's changing their score streaks, making sure they are ready. But the game is about to start, and I'd love to see the Twitter poll still currently standing at 76% epsilon, 24% infused. I'm Number sure that hashtag EGL when you're at us as well at EGL11. Um, but 76%, that's such a strong percentage. It's 3-3 now. Epsilon are certainly fan favourites. I mean, they have been for a while. That that uh, organisation yeah. making a big name when they went over to MLG last time and. Uh, Giving an impact a little bit of a <laughs> seeing too. Yep, they gave him a bit of a run. Unfortunately, came short. But you know, these, this is a squad to be reckoned with. You well, know, you've got Swanee, Madcap, Shane, Jerd. You can see them getting pumped here. They're ready for this game, and it's going underway. Half point, Yemen. It certainly is, and we're going to jump on board with. Well, for, 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 to be honest, whoever comes up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but in fairness, I am going to switch to Josh for this start of this one. I simply because you cannot ignore what he did in that last game. Uh, and see how he's going to do. Running lightweight, toughness, dexterity, and extreme conditioning. It just means he's going to go hard and fast for this one. This guy won't stop running. He's going to run and kill and run and kill. Uh, you see him, as you say, just the perks there, just a bit of a comment on that. You know, there's no, there's no kind of, you know, like hardwired, there's tap mask. He could be defending himself, but he's going more of an all-out slaying, a, you know, machine. Well, it's kind of one of them things. I mean, you've got to obviously worry about your team composition. Or if, if somebody's got trophy systems, you don't have to worry that much about it. But if they don't, then you have to kind of think... I'm going to be in the hard point. There's definitely going to be tax and, you know, nades raining in. I have to protect myself because you're no good in a gunfight if you're really half dead. Exactly. What Josh is doing here is actually really well. He's not only getting the kills on the hard point, he was trying to juggle it to get a few more points. Unfortunately, he wasn't successful in that. They've not only got 18 to 0 at the moment, but they've got the good spawns and they're ready and set up for the new hill. This is really good. Um, Really good play no, by Vintage Josh. is actually sniping on this one at the moment. And at the moment, Infuse do have the spawn. They have the rotation oh. ready for it as well. And it does seem like, oh, God, you don't really want to know what just happened here. <laughs> but continuing on with the game, we're going to carry on and try to ignore. But on board with Vintage right now, still going on. Oh, Vintage is on a four streak. He's on a four streak. He's using a sniper. You just saw that quick scope into the carpets area. And uh, Infuse are really going off on a, a good start here. They're at, you know, at least 30 points in the lead. On foot, uh, Epsilon are actually flanking. They've got the top statue control. But with this sniper, he's something that can either go very, very well or very, very wrong. Well, it's, it's interesting, really, because a sniper in search and destroy cuts off parts of the map. Now, in Hardpoint, it's so fast and furious, a player might not kind of think of that, oh, I can't pop my head out there because yeah. you know, they will challenge him more and more often. Exactly, exactly. I mean, as you saw there, he was—he uh, had control of the scaffolding. It's a long, it's a short alley, and that could have come off really beneficial. Unfortunately, he fell short. Epson are making this comeback here, but the next rotation is very, very important. You can see that Epson have got control of the hard point. Josh is just making a few kills in the middle, and I think you can see him ready and set up for the new one. Shame being going mental now on a five streak himself. It does seem they've got a lot of points back here. Epson comes streaming back into this, but at the moment, Infuse definitely have the rotation locked up. One of the things that I would say as well, Shane's so close to streaks, but this map is so important for streaks. Now, you've got the uh, the open market one, which is coming up next, and you can see Shane being really, really precautious. He doesn't want to push up. He doesn't want to uh, want to die when he's so close to the streaks, but when you're down and you are losing, you need to you know, you know need to work and push as a team, which Epsilon and Infuse are great at. You can see he's so precautious here. So now, now, on board with Shane as he tries to sneak in. The guy's on a five streak. He does not want to drop us. It does seem like Epsilon are putting a lot of shots down. Swanee and Mac both picking up two pieces there. And now they have managed to wrest control away from Infuse with 36 seconds left to go. Shane is getting his streaks as well, starting to be locked in. Now, Look at that, you can see here, all on the board. 
You know, you've got uh, Joe with two kills, Macat with three change uh, on five swan. He's just died there, but this is going point after point in uh, in Epsilon's way. It's a great comeback. Um, and it looks like Infused has spawned so far out. You can see Vintage in the bottom right hand corner. I think he's actually setting up for the new one. There's only 15 seconds left. And Shane's trying to do his best to pick off uh, a kill or two there, but he has got a Hellstorm. He does have a Hellstorm, and at the moment they have the rotation as well. Mad Cat is ready for it, and Epsilon and Elpsana outslay this Infused lineup. And I think the momentum may have turned, but they are both very quiet, these teams here. Yeah, you've just seen actually uh, Epsilon be completely in control of that market hard point, and all three players of the Epsilon, other, sorry, all other three players of the Epsilon squad were in this church hard point. This is, you know, this is one of the best. <laughs> they were 30, 30 up uh, infused, and now they're in fact 30 down. But however, they took control from that fast, and they do have players in the hard point as well. They should be able to get a good number of points back here if they can hold it. As Vintage picks up two, and now Tommy is the one in the hard point holding it down. You can see here, Tommy, he is, he is um, EMP and he's trying to run around. He doesn't know really what's happening. He's got to rely on his team to get these call outs, and I think they're doing a great job. That's Tommy with the pistol. Tommy's renowned to be running around with this pistol. This is Tommy's weapon. Let's see what he can do. He does actually need the hill for a brief second there, but they're getting the points back on it. And they should take the lead here. The rotation is on, and I don't think they have any score streaks to their name, unfortunately. As you can see here, uh, they've got the, the full uh, full amount there off that shared hard point. One of the actual infused squad uh, did, um, sorry, Epsilon squad did spawn out, but it looks like Epsilon have control of top purple in the statue at the moment. But this is what Jake, Jake with a big kill, taking out, taking control of the hard point, but he's getting unfortunately pinched from both sides. Now this is going to be a real, real battle here for this hill. There we go, Vintage on board with him. He managed to pick off one, doesn't get the second one though, and his teammates aren't really in a position to support him either. And uh, it does seem like Epsilon have got this on lock. Yeah, Josh is Josh. He's done absolutely amazing here. He's using an SMG, but he's getting those anchor kills. Josh is literally anchored for his team now. As you can see, Infuse have got this top spawn. This is what they want. Uh, Jake's actually trying to make plays with that pistol. Unfortunately, he doesn't. But as you can see, with the spawn, Josh once again taking control. There you go. Lightning strike actually inbound. Shane picks up one, picks up two, picks up three. Mad Cat cleans up the fourth. Uh, this is our half point. Back off, boys. We've got it. Shane actually drops Josh as well. And it does seem like the Epsilon boys are certainly bringing a serious amount of slaying power. I'm going to have a quick look at the scoreboard and see how it's going down. You can see here Tommy on 7 and 30. Now, that is not something you usually see from Tommy. Tommy's that top fragger. He's the one with the most kills. He's slaying. Um, but it's not necessarily it's not working. Whether Epsilon are just shutting him out, shutting his game out, that's something that they're doing particularly well. Uh, but as you can see on the board, Epsilon are all on streaks. Jo uh, sorry, Jerd, unfortunately, just going down there. But this middle hill, again, is just going to be a battle. As the last hill was, it's just a battle. Oh, there you go. Both teams are starting to get loud now. It's coming up. Josh is... No, sorry, it's Jerd, sorry, in the middle. There is he. Actually falls off the map. Does actually, the Vintage gets the kill as well though. Now they are going to fight over this next one, but the rotation is really going to be the key in this map. Both teams will have to fight hard for this. If Infuse get it, they have a way back into this game. If Epsilon get it, they're going to start putting out of Infuse's reach. Oh I, I'm even confused looking at the, <laughs> the kill feed there. Jared's Josh or Jude going absolutely hit, huge. Um, but this hill, they're not looking to get so many points off it. They need to obviously keep... This is a way to kind of boost streaks. You'll see teams gaining streaks from this middle hill. Tommy's on the hill. He's hiding as much as he can. He knows it's contested. Oh, oh, Shane just turned on him. That is a huge kill Made from him Shane. Shane makes another one. The second Shane one is as going well. off. He certainly is. Now, who is that left in there? Vintage has to kind of lock this down on his own, and that's not something you want to be doing, especially since the hard point is up, and he's not in it. This is something, I, again, uh, Vintage, in a way, he's making a smart play. He's sacrificing the hill there, but he's, he's, he needs to make these kills, and that's what they've done. Josh has picked up one. Vintage has picked up another, and this is where they gain complete control of the hill, and Epson are in a tough position now. They really are, and Ypsilon now have to try and break. I'll have a quick flick through, see what score streaks are in play, and that is a lot of firepower from Epsilon, actually, they can put in the sky. Indeed, and you're going to see that used on the... Uh on the top market half point coming shortly after this one. Uh, it looks like Infused, are, you know, they've, they've got a really good setup here. Epsilon is kind of pitching it from all sides. But as you can see, the bottom left-hand corner is going to be, a, you really, really need to win these anchor, anchor battles. And Jake's just lurking around. He's not doing any pushing. There's only 15 seconds left. But Epsilon are completely split over the map. Two at the correct half point. Two's just spawned out. I, I, I really think Infused have a great, uh, great opportunity to actually break this as they're doing. They need to somehow hold on and burn some of them score streaks from Epsilon now if they have the chance. At the moment, they're both going and here comes the lightning strike for Mad Cat. Doesn't get to, oh, does oh. get Tommy. Does manage to pull him out of that position. Jake goes down as well as Epsilon take control and now Infuse have a lot of work to do. Infuse really, really needs to break this half point. As you see, it's 177 to 172. They're shortly going to tie this up, surely. Uh, but again, Hellstorm's coming in. 
Josh trying to get in there, and he actually run fairly close. Jake getting taken himself. down as Epsilon shut them out. Now this is where, Ep uh, sorry, Ep yeah, Epsilon can take a real good lead. They've got a, a good 30 seconds on this hill. The next one is really, really key, but it looks like the players are rotating at the right time. And, I, you know, I think, um, I really think Epsilon are in a strong position to take this now. They really are now. On board with Jake, and that rotation is going to be critical. Look at the amount of <laughs> things that have been burned on this one as by itself. Shane there trying to get the kill on. He does manage to pick it up himself. Gets himself. Was that his Hellstorm he just earned with that? Uh, I'm not too sure, but he does definitely have a Hellstorm. You can use it on this hill. It's very rare that you do see it, but you can get it through the window of the uh, the church hard point. You can see Infuser really well set up. You can see one Epsilon player just at the back there. I'm not sure who that is. Just lurking around. He's trying to get the, uh, the spawns for his team. But Tommy is in control of the hard point. Uh, Tommy really needs to make serious plays here. He has to hold this down. And at the moment, Infuser do it. They need these points because there are still things in there. But Josh, oh, Jerd goes in and does it. We need to make this kill as well. But no, Jake shuts him out. Jerd did phenomenal there. He, made, he jumped in. He got two kills. Unfortunately, he couldn't take out Jake. Jake's retained this hard point. But you can see this pistol is so, so powerful in these close quarter combat areas. And now it's only a three-piece, unfortunately, for Jake. He didn't pull that off. Uh, but Infuse, they're all pulling this back. It's 207 to 207. This next point is all on this next hill. All on this next hill. However, Infuse are looking strong to take this 20 points. Oh, they've been taken down. There's nobody in this hill at the moment. But they're also going to have to think of the rotation as well, as it is only 16 seconds away. Is there any score streaks in play? That oh, is I'll the question. Uh, oh, Tommy might have one now. Not quite. Let's have a quick look. There is, there is one Hellstorm, and that's there in Jake's is. possession. Both teams have a Hellstorm. Here we go to see how this is going to go down at the moment. Infused are in the lead. Infused are in the lead. They're actually using the Hellstorm. The streets are coming into play here. Epsilon are in control of the hill. That's shortly ended. Another Hellstorm coming in. This back and two, back and two. Shane and Jake using the powerful um, score streaks there. But you can see here, Infused are getting the good spawn, but they really, really need to get on this hard point. They need to challenge it. There's only eight points Tommy in it. Tommy needs to make this kill. He desperately needs to make it. They can't make the kill. No, unfortunately not. There's only 20 seconds left of the game. Epsilon are in control of the hill. You can see Infuser actually spawning quite close to it. Epsilon are actually spawning out. Right this could be make it. or break. There's 10 seconds left. They need teams to break have this to go now. For it. It's going to come right down to the wire here. As both teams, Infuse currently have it. And then it looks like Epsilon are a little bit too far away going on board. Which he has to make something play. And at the moment, it does seem like they're going to spawn out as Epsilon Infused managed to take that by the skin of their teeth. And oh my goodness, what a game. <laughs> These two teams. Wow. Blowing my mind. Game one, we've, you know, incredible. Stealth choppers, everything, score streets going around. Game two, you come up with such a close game against the top, top players in Europe. That was back in two. The score streets were coming in. That was the entertaining thing for myself, seeing those score streets coming into play and the way that they used them. And I think they used them perfectly, both teams, but unfortunately uh, for Epsilon, you know, they de uh, got the defeat on that one and Infuse take the lead now, even though going into it with a deficit. <sighs> what a series we have lined up. You are correct. 4-3 now to Infused. Who would have predicted this? Epsilon not able to answer and slip behind in this best of 11. As you can see, again, there is not too happy faces on the Epsilon squad. They did have the lead so many times within that half uh, point. I just can't believe point. it. <laughs> yeah. It this is some be. of the best Call of Duty I've ever seen exactly, all year it. long and it takes all the way to the end of the year because everybody knows everything, everybody knows yeah. how to play and they're showing it here. The skills and clutches and sheer talent of these players is coming to the fore now when they need it most. That's it. You can see there, uh, just by the score points, uh, Jerd actually you know, 4,800 points, more than anyone in the lobby. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to win his team the game. If he's really pulling together as a team, but now we're going to be going into a search destroy on Meltdown. Now, this is what I'm looking forward to. I do like the hard points, the respawns, but the S&D, the, the one kills that are so important. It really is, and it comes down, it, it, I always find it's a kind of a, just a tempo change more than anything, because yeah. the players have to just sort of settle themselves down, you know, concentrate on their strategies, and, you know, really get into that thinking game mentality. Exactly, exactly. And then, um, you, you know, you'll hear of, you know, as I say, Jude's a great hard point player, CTF, you hear of Shane bamboozling everyone. Search and Destroy, you know, I couldn't name us particularly... Vintage Tommy for Infused, I'm going to go with. Yep. Uh, and... I don't know. I mean, Shane's Mad not sure what. Mad K is a fantastic player. Yep. I was wondering if there's any <laughs> way we can force one of the either Josh or Jer to change their names because it is a little bit difficult seeing that constantly put put up. It is so so difficult. I can I can deal with one. I can usually deal with one, but when there's two confusing us, it is very hard. I do apologise to anyone if we uh, yeah we know, do get the confused. It's because you look at the name <laughs> first, then look at the teams, and because you should know yeah. from there what you're going on to, and it's it's very irritating. I will admit. Exactly, exactly, but. 
Nevertheless, um, you know, if you are in the lead now, who do you reckon is going to take this search and destroy? I don't honestly know. I mean, this could be the turning point. Epsilon, if they can get this one, they will they will then settle into the game, and that's where they'll turn it around. Yeah. If Infuse can get this one, because they've ridden the hype before. Yeah. They have. If you remember, they when they uh, played Millennium last EGL, and they just they were two 0 down, and then they come back, and the last search and destroy was a whitewash. It was a six zero, simply yeah. because of that that momentum wave they were actually riding. So if they can do this, then I think they could win the entire event. But I don't know. I mean. Whatever happens, one thing I will bet <laughs> on is they will be close. Exactly. I, you know, I don't see this as a whitewash at all. What I'm looking forward to see is Vintage pulling that sniper out. Um, you know, people say he's the best sniper in Europe. He's one of those consistent players. You saw him sniping on a hard point. That's how confident he is with that gun. Uh, and when you go into a game where you have one life, you know, he's the man to watch with that sniper. Playing against him is a nightmare. But then you've got on the other team, Mad Cat. He, he will literally, he'll slay like it's a hard point on search and destroy. I can't wait. I mean, it's really going to be who gets the first couple of rounds. I'm sure that both teams are so pumped for this one as well. You can see Epsilon actually on your screen at the moment talking about this next one. They're trying to get their heads right. I'm sure Mad Cat is, Mad <laughs> Cat is giving words of advice to his team. He has been known for that before. He is. I mean, one of the things about Mad Cat as well, he's a really, really smart player. Now, you know, whether that's, you know, in Search and Destroy or any other game mode, it, suddenly you'll see him turn around and then someone will come around the flank. And I was like, how did you know that was happening? And it's just a, it's a sense, really, um, that obviously, you know, as players you do have. Uh, but Madcat in particular, very, very good search and destroy player. I want to be